सो टुडे आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड इन दिस पॉडकास्ट ये मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ी बात है दैट uh, इतनी मेहनत के बाद मुझे लगा था थोड़ी और मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी टिल द टाइम आई रीच अ पर्सनैलिटी जहाँ से मुझे इंस्परेशन मिली हो सो आई रिमेंबर दिस वन आई वॉज बिल्डिंग प्ले होटल तो मुझे रेफरेंस पॉइंट नहीं मिल रहा था कहाँ से देखूँ कौन एक हॉस्पिटैलिटी का स्टार्टअप को बड़ा कर पाया सो दे वॉज दिस होटल कॉल हिस्ट्री ऑफ लाइफ जब मैंने उसको लिया अपने फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स को दिखाया दिस एट वाओ वर अ ब्यूटिफुल ब्रांड कितने अच्छे होटल हैं सो मैं वेबसाइट देखता रहता था बैठ के कि क्या चीज़ इंस्पायरिंग है यहाँ से क्या उठा सकता हूँ और मुझे नहीं पता था कि ये एक छोटा सा स्टेप छोटी सी जर्नी आज मुझे लैंड करेगी उनके ओनर के साथ बैठ के बात करने के लिए आई वॉज लुकिंग एट हिम एज अ मैंटोर बट कभी मैसेज तक करने की हिम्मत नहीं हुई लिंकिन पे और आज वो हमारे सामने बैठे हुए आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड दिस पॉडकास्ट इज़ नॉट फॉर पीपल हु आर डूइंग जॉब और डूइंग एनी थिंग इट इज़ फॉर एवरी वन हु इज़ इन टू हॉस्पिटैलिटी हु वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग इन होटल्स और हॉस्पिटैलिटी एंड आई एम गोना आस्क क्वेश्चन जो मुझे जानने हैं आई थिंक यही सारे सवाल आप सबको भी जानने होंगे सो लेट्स डीप डाइव इन वी हैव हिम्मत आनंद सर विदास एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड आस्क हिम फ्यू क्वेश्चन कैसे हैं सर सब बढ़िया लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू दिस आई एम एक्साइटिंग स्टफ आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू हैव यू सर थैंक यू मुझे नहीं लगा था दैट uh, इतनी जल्दी मेरे को ये मिलेगा बट आई वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट ट्री ऑफ लाइफ ये नाम से लेकर के आपने क्या बनाया सर ये लेट्स गो बैक थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स वो कहते हैं ना डेस्टिनी में जो होता है वो होता ही है यू कैन नॉट चेंज इट यू डू नॉट नो इट्स हैपन टू यू बट इट हैपन्स नाउ हेयर इज अ गाय हु लेफ्ट दी होटल इंडस्ट्री After doing hotel management hmm. in 1980, so I passed out 78 from Pusa, okay. and I joined the Taj Mansik as pre-opening team, and I worked there from 78 to 80, year hmm. and a half. And on 31st December 1980, I found I was in the Italian restaurant as a supervisor. And the guests were having a great time, music hora hai, sab hua sab hora hai, aur main uniform pehen ke khadao kone mein dekh raha hoon sabko enjoy karte hue. So I called my sister. I said, "What are you doing? She said, mm-hmm. "Oh, Bhai Ji, I wish you were here. We are having a great time at home. All the cousins are. What are you doing?" I said, "I am standing in uniform. I am looking at people. I am ashamed." Next morning, I went and gave my resignation. Oh, so I realized, yeah, first January I resigned. First January of eighty-one. Yeah, I didn't have a job. Dad was a retired army officer, and there was chaos in the in, in the family. ये तो करके दिया तूने माय लॉजिक वाज वेरी क्लियर दैट इफ आई हैव टू स्पेंड द रेस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ ओनली लुकिंग आफ्टर पीपल देन व्हाट इज माय लाइफ ऑल अबाउट राइट ओह एंड आई विल डू समथिंग डिफरेंट फॉर माय सेल्फ तो फिर 6 महीने बैठा रहा विंटर्स का टाइम था सिर पे तेल लगा के छत पे बैठा रहता था क्या एज थी सर तब हां क्या एज थी तब क्या था 20 साल 20 के साल 21 साल का होगा सो गया था 21 साल का था उसे हां 21 आई स्टार्टेड एट 19 21, 22. 22. Wow. So months I I remember sitting on on the the terrace rubbing oil on my head and studying all the IAS books. IAS books. तैयारी करता हुआ ओके तीन महीने में पता चल गया कि इतना दिमाग नहीं है तेरा आई एस की मस्की नहीं है छोड़ दिया इसको चक्र में पड़ रहा है थिंक ऑफ समथिंग विच यू कैन डू एंड सीता ट्रेवल ट्रेवल एजेंसी सो दे मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग So I applied there, and after a long selection process, I got s- selected as a management trainee with Sita. And that is where I think the sort of base of life grew from there, mm. right? But I'm glad I worked for one and a half years in the hotels because at least at that stage it taught me what I don't want to do. And I think knowing what you don't want to do, correct, is always more important than what you want to do. Yes, you know what you want to do happens. Of course. But what you don't want is the decisions you have to take in life, boss. ये तो करना ही नहीं है मेरे में. Correct. So that's when the journey started, and then I worked with Sita in India. Then I went overseas in 1985. I got transferred to Frankfurt to open the Sita Travels office in Frankfurt. 91. Then I moved with Jet Airways to London. Hmm. Then I moved to Paris. In between, I did a short stint in New York. So 10 years I spent overseas. Uh, 85 to 95 okay right and then i sort of grew homesick okay and i said i want to come back to india when i look back i think that is a mistake i made okay. uh, the india i came back to was very different from the india i'm seeing today 
and I don't know if this is the India I'd like to sort of spend my life in, but yeah, you're here by default, you're here by yes. default, right? Yes. It may sound anti-national, people may tell me to Pakistan chala ja, but the fact is that I was at that time homesick and I came back for that, right? But I think our society has changed dramatically yes, in the last 30 years. Is it getting any better? I don't know, right? But anyway, I came back in 95, rejoined Sita. And then I became chief operating. Sita was bought by Kioni in mm, 2001, yeah. the Swiss company. And then I became the chief operating officer in 2003, 2002-03 till 2007. Now for me, I think in life, one thing has remained very constant is that you must know when to get off what you're doing. You cannot be on the top forever. And if anybody yes. thinks he can be on top forever, forget it. You cannot be a king forever. Cannot be. Mr. Yeah. Adani, you can up. Yes. The right. richest man within two days, where did he go? Gone. Yeah. Billions gone. Right? And that's been my firm belief that boss, jump the horse when you know you're on top. Mm. And do the next one, whatever you have to do. Right? So by 2007, I had more or less realized that my corporate world career of 25, 28 years is now done with. I cannot do it anymore. And the tree of life, I had thought of about 35 years ago. I will make a small resort for one day. So, this is a very old story that we will talk about today. Right? That I will make a resort one day. And I will only make one day. And I will make one day. So, 2007-08, I put in my papers. I left the corporate world. All my money I had, I put into tree of life to start the property in Jaipur. Now, parents are still worried. कि यार तेरे को होटल का कुछ नहीं आता पैसे कहाँ से आएंगे क्या होगा क्या है how will you make it but I think if one has deep confidence and belief in your own self then I don't think any challenge is too far or too great to achieve I agree right and I was hell bent कि मेरे को एक तो करना ही है what was the loss for me what is the risk the risk was and I did a back of the envelope calculation I said I need fifty thousand rupees a month to survive correct if this doesn't work I can easily get a job for 50,000 bucks. So what is my risk? My life savings will go. That is the bottom line I had to lose. Yes. And that was acceptable to me. So when you accept your greatest fear or your greatest risk, then what more do you have to lose? Nothing. Nothing. You become dangerous then. You become, exactly. Then you say, boss, up to, chalo. So that is how 2007 started with the tree of life. Go shuruati. So ek socha tha, sir, ab itne banati hai. Kaise? तब क्या हुआ कि जब एक बन गया था, then we were told not to stop. No, I don't think it happened that way. When we finished building it in 2010, we launched Jaipur. I was the manager there, so I stayed there. I was the contractor for three years. I built it, then I carried on managing it. And my son Akhil then joined me. Akhil must have been all of 19 at that time when he joined me. Okay. Right. And we worked together for two three years. And then he started saying, Dad, you know, people are calling us constantly to take their hotels and management. Why are you saying no? Because I used to keep saying no. I don't want to do it. I want to make one, I'm happy. So I said, boss, look, my aspiration is done with. I wanted to make one. My aspiration is over and done with. I'm very happy running this. He said, yeah, but Dad, that is not my aspiration. I have different aspirations. So I said, fine. If that is the case, then you go in front and I will follow you. So that one became 2, 5, 10, 12, we are opening 14th tomorrow. Had I carried on signing whatever came my way, we would easily be at 30, 35 hotels today. Easy means easy. But I don't take everything which comes my way. So it is Akhil who wanted to make... He was, yeah, he was, he was the guy who sort of got, got me into this space. And I sort of keep holding him responsible for this because I have now come back to the same corporate structure which I left. Because mm. with 14 hotels, you have to have a structure again. Of course, the process. So I'm back in the same stuff which I wanted to give up all my life. But I think I, I never question what is happening. I don't challenge what is happening. And I just go with the flow. So I just went with the flow. Yeah. So I think uh, the bonding between you and your son would have grown in this working together. No, to the, both contrary, come to, to the contrary. I think working with family, father and son, is a very difficult space to work in. Especially if father and son are not like-minded or have different styles of working. Mm. Right? So our relationship actually went through for quite a toss in between, where he kept saying that in you, I'm only seeing a boss, I'm not seeing a father. 
and I said on work I can only be your boss I cannot be your father yeah right because for me he was one of the guys of the team he wasn't yeah. my son because when he wanted to come and join me I had given him three preconditions I said there are three conditions which you will have to accept if you want to come and join me I said one you will start as a butler that is the lowest rank possible yes. right two you will not stay at home with me in Jaipur you will stay with the staff accommodation Oh. And three, you will not eat meals with me. You will eat in the staff cafeteria. I said, "Tere ko ye three manzoor hai haan kar." He said, "Haan, dad, manzoor hai mere ko." So he started from there, and I think that was an amazing grounding for him. He grew from the ranks, and today he thanks me for that. So on the one hand, he thanks me for the fact that I was as strict as I was with him, and I didn't give him everything on a platter. So we had to learn and move up. Yeah. But I must say that yeah, now of course things are okay with us because both of us have matured and grown. But yeah, in between there have been patches where we did not see eye to eye on many things. But you so, laid a solid foundation. It is, but the foundation is for me. I I don't believe that I am doing it for the next generation. Whatever I am doing today is only for me. Oh, it is not the right of the next generation. The next generation has to create their own stuff and take it forward. But can you can you explain this to me? I want to understand this. Yeah. Why not for next generation? Because you have built something; it is already yeah. there, and he is working hard. Yeah, he is opening yeah. up more hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So he is building it, but you have started. Yeah. So when I mean next generation, there are a lot of people who do work what they do in life, only keeping the next generation in mind. कि बच्चों के लिए करना है. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. My thinking is that if I, as a father or as a parent, have given you the right education. Mm. I've given you the right values to grow up on. Correct. I've given you the right standing in society. So that platform I've delivered to you. Mm. So yes, I'm passing this on to you in a way. If I do, so there is. Yeah. And if I do to it, for you to take forward. But am I doing this for you only? No, I'm not. I'm doing it for myself. I'm very clear on that. Yeah. I've given you all the tools. I mean, education is required for you to grow. Yeah. But and the day I want to take it away, I will take it away because it still belongs to me. So it's it's that simple. <laughs> And so, so your tree of life was a concept of a resort that you came. In. Yes. What was the unique thing that you have thought that this will yeah. make me uh, a different brand altogether? Because I'm very inspired about the kind of branding that you've done. Right. Uh, I don't know from where tree of life as a name came into your existence because I've created Redwins and our own. So I know I uh, sat down with Sachin said revenue, e-commerce, what all we'll do in tomorrow's world. and then we came up with the name how tree of life came into existence oh this is a bizarre incident how tree of life came about i was still with sita travels and i am talking of probably the early 90s i think okay right uh, we are late uh, yeah yeah late 80s early 90s i had gone to chennai on a business trip hmm i was crossing a road and there was a signage sign board nahi hote toote woote dil ke jo lage hote hain wo ek side pe sign board pada hua tha zameen pe उस पर फेडेड लिखा हुआ था ट्री ऑफ लाइफ एंड आई वॉज जस्ट क्रॉसिंग द रोड राइट और मेरी नजर पड़ी हुई साइन बोर्ड के ऊपर ऐसे जब मैं अपना रिजॉर्ट बनाऊंगा उसमें ट्री ऑफ लाइफ बुलाऊंगा अच्छा नाम है अब मेरे को उसके बाद कुछ नहीं पता था ट्री ऑफ लाइफ का क्या मायने होता है आई जस्ट लाइक द नेम ऑफ दैट बोर्ड विच वॉज लाइक ऑन द साइड ओके ना दिस इज इफ इट दिस इज नॉट डेस्टिनी वॉट इज इज इट ऑफकोर्स इट ना सो आई नेवर क्वेश्चन दीज थिंग्स आई हैव एवर सिंस नेवर क्वेश्चन दीज थिंग्स सो वैन आई वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट द ट्री ऑफ लाइफ That's when I started doing a bit of research, and I found that there is a huge story behind this, which I didn't know at that stage. I just liked the name, and I said, "I am going to do this." Uh, and that is how the whole tree of life. What is what is the story behind tree of life that you? Into being, yeah. So it is in the Upanishads. It's written in the Bible. It's written in books of Hebrew about how it is everlasting, how it is fruits, and it's got animals on it. Oh. So when you see the traditional tree of life, you've got birds, animals, fruits. So it is the culmination of everything which is nice beautiful calm serene mm. it fits in very nicely with what the brand has grown to be did i know at that time it will grow to be this no i didn't but it just grew in that direction and it fitted in very nicely with what i wanted to do so the thought coming back to your question was that what did we stand for at that time so there were three non negotiables with me when i started the tree of life and we've kept more or less to them even today even after 14 years now one was that we will always be away from city centers okay so means 8 10 12 kilometers we won't be in the city see any of the 14 tree of life most of them barring only one jodhpur every every resort is about 10 yeah. 8 kilometers so close to actually. the center but you're still far away you have to drive you have to drive you're yeah. in very peaceful quiet surroundings right so that was one non negotiable 
The second non-negotiable was that I will always limit the number of keys in any individual property. And my Lakshman Rekha is about 20-22 keys for rooms mm. in any property. I don't do more than that. So even today my smallest is 6 and till 3 months back the biggest was 22. Yeah. But I have changed track a little bit. So we have a 30 room property in Udaipur now. Because I felt it necessary to bring just two or three largish properties of about 30 rooms. Because mm -hmm. the financial impact is very different there. Yes, right? yes. And it doesn't take away from what the brand stands for. Correct. Two, three properties doesn't disturb the brand. Anything between 30 to 50 is good. So 50 I wouldn't go, but now, yeah, 2022 still remains the target market. But maybe one or 30 room property will come in. But other than that, it will remain here. Three, we would be pet friendly. Hmm. Even at the time of Tree of Life. And we'll talk about that later. Uh, and that we would avoid doing buffets. So in most of our hotels, you will hardly ever find buffets being done. It's all table service. So those are the three things we started out with and we've lived with till today. And what is the reason not no buffet, sir? How can you talk of freshness of food on the one hand and mm. then do buffets in which it is three months old deep frozen food or it's recycled? Correct. That food doesn't get thrown away. That buffet which you eat every day. Of course. Day. Of course. Oh, shamko so how do you proudly say that we give you fresh food? Nice. So I think industry has to learn that you must... I know we can't walk the talk all the yeah. way through. But I think to the maximum extent you possibly can, you must walk the talk. Otherwise, don't talk about it. Mm. I'm very, very clear on that. And I think that is what has helped the tree of life in these last years. Where a guest knows that what these guys say, they, deliver. they will do and deliver. Otherwise, I don't say. Now, how eco-friendly drama And I think we as an industry are the worst defaulters when it comes to eco. Yeah. And it amazes me how every hotel is talking eco this, eco that. Yeah. Are you are not eco at all. You are putting up a farce. You have plastic bottles, change karke glass bottle and you are saying that eco is eco. I think that the glass bottle is a vendor's puri ki puri. Areas khatam kar diya. So, yeah. Andaz ke paas pade wind se pani aata tha, jo ki Bhutan ka company hai. Mm. And they used to pay money mm. because of vendor over. Uh, because Andaz ya five star luxury hotel has to keep international branded yeah. water. Now what they did is a plant lagaya, married one way ki bottle banai. Haan, wo sar aapne kar rahe. Khud kar liya aapne. Kal ko aap soap ke saath bhi aisa karo ge. Ek pura vendor management cha ek aadmi, ek country ko bohut resource mil raha tha, paisa mil raha tha, wo bhi yeah. khatam kar diya aapne. True. And koi eco nahi hai isme. Yeah, no, Nothing. no, this is... In fact, if you give water from someone else, you support a country, where there is only tourism and water to give water. Right, yeah. Now, Bhutan is struggling right now. Yeah. More con I thought that hospitality as a sector will support a country to enhance and go back. We went to Bhutan and this is the case. This hospitality is happening in every place. Everyone is doing it. Yeah. So, I think, I think, this is the idea, sir, that you had to make it for you. But, when you started to grow it, so you would require a team, then you require people to come in. So, this team, bananing ke samay, was it easy? Was it difficult for you? So, when I had the first tree of life in Jaipur, getting staff was a challenge. Hmm. Uh, nobody believed that that concept will survive. Because when I was building it in 2007, I had five acres of land. I was doing only 14 villas. And I was 12 kilometers outside the city. Mm -hmm. In 2010 or 2007 8 when I started construction, people thought this is suicide. Mm -hmm. So they loved the concept, but they said, boss, this will close down. It will not work. Mm -hmm. But I was just so determined that it will work because I knew that in future, the traveler will look for two things. He will look for space and he will look for privacy. Mm -hmm. Space and privacy will become the upselling points going forward. And I knew this in 2008-9. So the cities are getting trashed completely. Yes. Who wants to live in the city? No one, sir. If you have to go to the five-star and dinner, there are red lights. Absolutely. And then, go to the whole drama and go to the whole So that is what the thought process was then. And COVID accelerated the whole process for us. So while hotels were shutting down mm. during COVID, I signed four new hotels during COVID. I did that. Pura right. play hotel was COVID-19, sir. Yes. Yeah. Dar mein thai, sir. Ki hospitality will never go. It will never go. And it will never go, so it will never go back to the time. But then again, I think COVID was great for us because people wanted being away from the city. They wanted hotels with less keys, yes. open spaces, no long corridors, no elevators. Yeah. And our best years of business also were during COVID times. COVID, yes. So 
coming back to what you said initially yes there was hesitation in people to join us that hesitation is no longer there but i think that was my greatest challenge in terms of staffing because for me challenge i i don't think challenge is a challenge at all challenge is a state of mind it is it is not something which you confront yourself with it mm. is in your mind and for me if i create a situation for two people one will see it as a challenge and one will say okay these are the challenges but here are my answers yeah because answers are always there every challenge has an answer yes of course right it's just you just let it remain as a challenge and it just carries on bothering you and we were fortunate to be able to overcome a lot of things i mean people said this crazy kya kar rahe ho but theek hai humne kaha karenge isko karenge good sir determination is the good thing i think kisi ne mereko bola tha ki challenges nothing it is in your head yeah every question has been answered you just need to find the right book exactly so tree of life ke bare mein maine kafi baat kari अब मैं चाहता हूं सर कि हॉस्पिटैलिटी के बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहते हो करंट हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडिया में कैसी है आपने पुराने समय से लेकर के अभी तक हॉस्पिटैलिटी को बदलते देखा है सो so, एक तो हॉस्पिटैलिटी में विच आई टोटली डिसग्री विद गांधी जी गए तो गए थे अतिथि देवो भव गेस्ट इज गॉड एंड आई कीप क्वेश्चनिंग हाउ आई क्वेश्चन इट एवरी अदर डे एंड आई गेट इन टू लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल फॉर क्वेश्चनिंग इट बिकॉज आई 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 थिंक वी जस्ट in a very unreasonable way given the status of god to guests mm. for me more important is the team mm. the business is always there yes there is no dearth of business in this country we are 1.4 billion people right so business is never an a challenge the challenge always is how do you correctly manage that business and do you have the right sort of people to manage it for you Yes. And you know, hospitality is a very difficult segment. Imagine the staff, the frontline staff, F and B, front office, housekeeping. Housekeeping चलो तभी थोड़ा पीछे में रहते हैं. ये दो departments जो होते हैं, भले आपकी ज़िंदगी में कुछ भी हो रहा हो, अगर आप duty पे हो, हँसते रहो. You have to smile, put up a nice face. Guest जितना ही बेहुदा हो, कुछ भी कह रहा हो आपको, you cannot retaliate. और वही आदमी अगर आपको hotel के बाहर मिलेगा और ऐसे बात करेगा. you know what you'll do to him yes right? yes so i am always in full support of my downline staff i i stand shoulder to shoulder with them and i have a lot of empathy for them because i know they go through a very difficult job every day of their lives when they are working it's fun so i'm not saying it's not fun but i think on the personal level you pay a lot of personal price to be there yeah right in terms of always wanting to keep people happy and what makes it even more complicated is that every guest who checks in has a different expectation there is no sop for expectation yes right? there is no sop for expectation so how do i every 15 minutes realign myself to a new guest's expectations does anybody ever realize that it is so difficult to do that so for me my team is first mm. i am very clear on that does not mean the guest is not important it is absolutely definitely important uh but i think and the hotel industry unfortunately does not stand to its team as strongly as it should they are scared to give if somebody writes a bad review or let's say forget the review first they they they, they want to meet every demand of the guest because there is a fear oh review bura likh dega main kehta hu boss tu likh likh le to bura doesn't matter to me because i will reply to you in the same way you've written what you have written mm. right and hotels in times have given instructions that no matter what the guest writes say sorry Yes. Now I don't agree th- with that form of hospitality one bit. I think as a guest, I definitely want to give him the privilege and the liberty of enjoying himself. But just as I, as hotelier, have a responsibility to you as a guest, and you, you as it. a guest have a responsibility towards my staff also. It's because we are serving you. Exactly, and I'm not going to let you just get away with whatever you want to do. No, that for me is not hospitality. So right. people would be looking at you as someone as. in the industry in a different perspective in mind does they also come along and criticize you behind your back have you seen that a lot or of heard it, that a lot of it a lot of it many times a lot of it uh yeah they don't understand why we do what we do and i have always been extremely outspoken about industry issues and i continue to express my i opinion. became fan of yours when i've seen your linkedin post about this thing the same thing you written yeah, about linkedin yeah, yeah. and i remember this was like 2 years 3 years back Last that week. you No, I mm-hmm. believed in it forever. Yeah, so maybe I, not was... in my first stages, but when I saw what the hotel staff have to go through every day, I said, "No, boss, this." I've seen be. your LinkedIn post, and yeah. I was like, "This is something that 
everyone should be looking at that why the guests are doing this and rather than going out and saying guest is god every time they are right support your staff because they are serving these kind of people as well and they never say no that you you talk loudly or you have a different culture you have different color they will greet you they will yeah we will respect you. our staff fully yeah. uh, our, our guests completely i mean absolutely and i i appreciate the fact they are there to have a good time and we are there to look after them and make sure they have a good time that is what hospitality is all about but i think it has to be a two way street i do not like one way street hospitality no i want to get a wisdom on this point that yeah. you started something at age of 21 and you were in taj standing and saying i do i don't want to stand here and stare people enjoying yeah fir aapne sita join kiya you become coo then you started tree of life and i think it is one of the great brand in comes to boutique luxury now ye har baar sir success kaise aa jati hai iske liye kya hona chahiye ek insaan ke andar har baar to nahi aap dekho i am now <laughs> 65 so take 45 is 15 years every time right so corporate yeah. world lasted for me for about 40 years yeah right out of which 25 7 years 10 years was senior management and the rest was careers which everybody goes through yes. in life yes right i then moved here 15 years here now uh i don't think it's by luck it's not by chance it is always there is a design yeah. behind it yes I also believe that companies must reinvent themselves every five to seven years. You cannot doing keep doing the same model, the same stuff forever, because then you will die or you will stagnate. Mm. So even internally, although we are small, every five years we move to a different level of doing things or a different project or a different accomplishment. The way of steering the company. Of steering the company. That thought process. That has to be a dramatic thought process. It can't be just It's small change. Small change. No. Yeah. Right. You have to really reinvent yourself. So I yeah so it's always been and I've only done I've only done things which I was very passionate about which attracted me towards them I didn't do anything for the sake of doing it because mm. then you will fail yes but if you really deep within yourself know ke mere ko yahi karna hai so when I did the corporate world people thought I was crazy in 2007 when I left as CEO they said are you crazy and my salary at that time was probably 75 lakhs a year I had a company Mercedes and 2007 yeah. that meant a lot yeah of course right? and people said what is wrong with this guy he kar kya raha hai ghar wale aur pareshan the boss what is going on but i said no i just have to make this hotel of mine and so there are like one or two things which i still want to do in my lifetime uh, i want to make a cafe somewhere on the river side in the mountains now that is a desire for the last 5 years the plans are ready the name is ready everything is ready when is it going to be the right time i don't know but there is something i'd like to do next as small as that because that's just going to give me a lot of happiness right So I would like to do that at some stage. Let's see what I do. Right? When you said I, I just struck the chord of off limit, which is there in Kasal, as a riverside, a small yeah, cafe, it is. and the owners are very happy. They are yeah. building the uh, residences around it. I think at the latest stage of your life, these are things that gives you happiness. But earlier, I think what I look at your career and the graph that I look at, yes. you are determined that you have to do something, and you never give up. This is for me. Is there anything that a person should carry to become uh, persistent and achieve goals that they are looking for? I think you have to be honest to yourself and to others. For me, I I, I start with trust. I right? I cannot enter or work in any environment where there is no trust because I see no reason to mistrust anybody. Wow. Right? And you get knocked because of that many yes. times. But having said that, I think trust is. the basis of anything which one wants to do in life and you have to be honest to yourself and to the others you are interacting with that's the first thing very important for me the second thing like i said is just having belief in what you're doing if you don't have the belief don't do it don't do it to impress society the society mm-hmm. doesn't care about you at all at the end of the day ye aap jo karte ho apne liye karte ho jis din aap logo ko dikhane ke liye karne lage to i think you will lose the game honestly you lose the game i think it has to be your driving force and these are the two things which have led me all my life and i like i said i don't take time to take decisions and once i decide i decide it, then it doesn't matter people will guide me ye mat karo wo mat karo i respect their decisions or their inputs but i think you have to just take bite the bullet as this is so yeah. uh, in my life i take lot of decisions quickly and people are very worried about that yeah. and and i often hear people coming and saying ye achanak se kaise kar diya so unko bolta hu ye achanak se nahi hua it was It's in the mind for a long was time for a very long time yeah. i was not taking action because i was waiting for the real time Absolutely. to come in and now here's my decision yeah, yeah. 
but i want to understand more about trust how how you look at at the situation that this thing that i should trust or should i not trust what are the sign of not trusting someone no, or there the are situation? no signs i trust everybody boss there are no signs i mean how do you quantify trust yeah so so there are no signs that's why i trust everybody and then you get knocked and you say chal theek hai let's carry on with life so it's, it's a okay. punch punch and go come back game yeah yeah you just carry on with it this is something i've never let go in all these years yeah i was just trying to find answer for my own self no, because there are no answers for this because this is the game that i'm getting knocked down through and through it'll happen it'll happen don't <laughs> give it up that's all i can say all right all right so i think so uh, more or less in terms of tree of life i had a lot of questions to ask more yeah so to start with so now i look at it that brand why when did you realize that this has become a brand now when was that time i don't realize that even today no Great. and this is what is the amazing part people like you good well wishers keep telling me how well i've done yeah how good the brand is i for one never consider myself as an owner of a hotel chain right i'm still the guy i was 30 years ago i still do everything on my own be it sending couriers buying cut- cutlery buying crockery buying linen i choose all that myself all the artifacts the interiors i do myself so whenever a hotel is built i am actually the contractor on the site so for me life has not changed despite of tree of life being there and then i always think hey, boss what is so great about it that people are telling me all they do and yeah. this happens very often right you last night when i was at a function somewhere and i'm just very grateful that people appreciate what we've done in all these years but i just think i don't think i've done anything very great this is just something which is this regular stuff here yeah. a lot of is. people are not doing the regular stuff sir that is a problem i think <laughs> that is why so you have seen a lot of uh, part of countries and yeah. you have went abroad to see a lot of culture i think that is that is one thing that the reason that you are so humble and look at things because you're coming from a ceo position and building something which is 13 14 hotels right now and you are expanding and still not feeling i think uh, there are big things that has to happen more for you to at yeah. least realize Thank you. i don't know how far it will go no i also attribute this i think a little bit to the background my dad was in the army so your upbringing, upbringing in the army is very different yeah to what the outside world is right it's a very grounded upbringing it mm. teaches you various things of values so i think a lot what i am today and i actually wanted to join the army that was my first career choice oh my maths test mein fail ho gaya entrance exam mein do bari to very very easy mein gaya tha sir uh, so i didn't make it but that was a life i would have liked to have actually my but, name so, my yeah. name was like that prashant mishra my father used to say left hand prashant mishra kitna acha hai wo ho nahi paya sir theek hai better things in life so are you happy now content to what you have done achieved i am extremely i wouldn't exchange what i've done in my life for anything at all no nothing so people often ask do you have any regrets mm. no you may have wanted some things to go differently yes all of us do right life doesn't happen the way you want it all the time but do i have any regrets of life no absolutely not i think on 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 the work front uh, on the professional front i had a great time in the corporate world I had this desire for entrepreneurship, which I have now fulfilled over the years. And yeah, now let's see what next. I don't know. I don't know. I know something is going to happen, but I don't know what. I am loving this deep and wisdom talk with you. But let's. I want to talk about hospitality as yeah. well. A few core things. Sure. So building a brand. So I was building a brand, and I realized that branding is something that I have to look at because आज वो जमाना नहीं रहा जब आप Mount Everest पे चढ़ जाओ लोग बोलेंगे वाह आप चढ़ गए you have to go yeah. on Mount Everest and shout loud that listen I've been here. So uh, what was marketing and branding for you while you were building uh, Tree of Life? So did you thought about it or you said no let me do what I'm doing? So I from day one believed that. brand is critical for the success of any business be it big or small yeah doesn't matter right you have to build a brand more importantly for me was that the brand cannot be built on stories hmm there has to be substance in the brand there has to be continuity there has to be commitment so like i said believing in what you are building and doing only that much which you can deliver hmm. for me that brand value was most critical 
So when I said I will not do more than 20 room properties, I have stood by that for 15 years, mm. right? And I could have signed 50, 80, 100 room properties. People are after us so often. I just said no, because that is not what I wanted, what my brand stood for. What mm. did my brand stand for? Calm, serene, quiet, yeah. away from the city, not crowded. So all what I've done, even if you see a logo, it actually starts. Yeah. It's a very soothing logo from there. It's the tree of life yes. in a different form, right? So I think building brands and for small businesses like me, I think the owner or the founder or whoever I am, the brand is a lot of a reflection of my own personal qualities in the brand. So what Tree of Life today is actually a copy of me and I'm a copy of Tree of Life. Mm. And I think for small business to, businesses to succeed from the branding point of view, the owner or the founder must step forward and say, this is what I believe in. These are my beliefs. And I am reflecting the same in my brand to you. Right? And that is what we've done all along. So there is saying that when you start a business, it is you, your company name is smaller than you. So Himmat Anand is bigger than Tree of Life when it started. Do you think that it has changed? The Tree of Life has become bigger than Himmat Anand now? So I don't know whether it's bigger or smaller, but I think both Himmat Anand and Tree of Life are very closely associated. So on the one hand, it is good, right? Because I am pretty active in what I do. But then on the other hand, I do believe that there has to be a little bit more space between the two. Yeah. Because whenever people talk of Tree of Life, they say, I am a Himmat guy. You should go up there. But no, I'm, I'm low-key. I don't like to be up front. And my vision card has my name. It has no designation, no nothing. I just put Himmat Anand with Tree of Life. That's it. Because it's just me. It's my name. Yeah. Why do I need to prop myself up with a designation and say, I'm the founder or I'm chairman. I'm... I'm happy to be in the background. So when I was building, I was thinking on one thing that one day this company name has to be bigger than my name. Yeah. I don't want people to say this is your company. I want yeah. people to say this company, you work there. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. that is the day that you actually can feel proud and say I built something because yeah. your name has gone smaller in front of your company yeah. name. Yeah. And that, that can only happen when you have a bigger lot of people walking, taking responsibility, yeah. taking your company forward. So I don't think Tree of Life will honestly ever become that big. At least it's not my aspiration that I want to do 50, 60 hotels. I don't know how many I'll do. But do I have an aspiration for those large numbers? No, I don't. But I think you will end up doing it because the country is going to be like that. Yeah, the country can be. But again, if it's a personal aspiration, I believe. See, I always believe boutique brands, if you're small, if you're personalized, yeah. you can't have that same level if you have... 40, 50 hotels. You will lose out somewhere. You will then have to standardize completely. Yes. And I don't want to standardize. I want every hotel to have its own character, every hotel to have its own service style, every hotel to have its own individuality. Because for me, it is not a hotel. It is an individual being, right? Mm. Which should not be copied. What happens with the larger brand standardization is that no matter which hotel you go to, you know what to expect. Yeah. Cut, 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 cut. Yeah, all, right? Right? Yeah. Starting from the welcome. Yeah. In our property, you go to any one hotel, the welcome is never the same as in the previous hotel. It should not be because that's the... That's the that's so the that is the price you will pay if you become big. Mm. Then you have to standardize across. Let me think but about let's see. it. I let's think see that's, it that's interesting to look yeah. at because uh, I remember this, I was doing a podcast. So, this industry has a big problem. I did a podcast with Gunjan Pandey Ji. He is hmm. a guy from Bihar. He is a small city. And he become ITC Fortune Solan ka GM. Okay. And he's this, he has this local ascent already there. Uh. And he said some very amazing thing. Life changing lines were there for me to. I said, how you handle a leadership? He said, question simple. Phone switch off. Nahi 24 on and I was like, itna bada sawaad. Ki leadership mein aapko kaise apne logo ko, uh. you know. He said, aapka phone on lana you, are, you should be always available. Uh. And there will be people who will not like him. Because in this industry, there are a lot of people who are in this And if someone is from Taj talking to Lamentary, you are talking to Lamentary. Baat kar rahe? The status and all of this, I don't know where it came from. This is only in this industry. When I see an IT or any other industry, HCL, wala baat karega, Infosys, wala se suno yaar, tumhare yaan pe to achha chala, mera jukar laga do. Mm. Ya fir, let's discuss on this project. This happens in this industry so much. What do you think this will change with Gen Z's coming in this industry or just say ye log aage bad rahe hain ya fir wo abhi bhi old school hum sikhate ja rahe hain chalta jayega? No, I think that's already changed dramatically. 
कोविड हैज टॉट द हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री अ वेरी रियलिस्टिक लेसन दैट इफ यू डोंट लुक आफ्टर योर पीपल देर विल बी नो हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री लेफ्ट बिकॉज इट्स टेकन फॉर ग्रांटेड आपको सात दिन काम करना ही करना है आपको सोलह घंटे ड्यूटी करनी करनी है और आपको महीने के आखिर में पच्चीस हजार रुपये सिर्फ मिलेंगे उससे ज्यादा नहीं मिलेंगे ठीक है ना तो काय को कोई काम करेगा इसके लिए सो फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्क फोर्स हैज नॉट कम बैक आफ्टर कोविड नो दिट डेंट लॉयल्टी के no it doesn't happen anymore and the industry will have to rethink the parameters of work will have to i mean we for example today give see the issue also is corporate offices versus unit yeah right corporate offices want all the aram and all the goodies of life yeah. saturday sunday off chahiye sab chahiye unko tum corporate office mein kisi ko bolo 16 ghante kaam kare aur saturday sunday aa jaye nahi kare par unit mein jab hota hai wo If somebody says no to that, then people take offense. Okay, you can't carry that. You have to do it. Hmm. So I think it's very important for these corporate office guys to go to the unit and work there for a month. Every corporate office, <laughs> like Israel, can do military training. Hoti hai na mandatory. Ah, two years. Jaane hai. Hospitality. Me, ye sare corporate office wale jo baithe hai, sab log, unko kaho tum ek mahina ja ke unit pe kam karo tum. So mere se raat tak. Jaise wo kam karte hai. Phir wapas aake baat karo humse kya hota hai. so we don't dif- differentiate i mean we give 6 days uh, in a month off or out at the unit level log char nahi dete hain we make it mandatory 6 days off every month uh, so we are trying to do from our side we have if people want to go on a training program to enhance their knowledge and stuff like that for four staff every year the company pays for that course mm. agar aap it mein ho jo aap it ka course karna hai karo fnb mein ho jo ko course karna hai karo so we are encouraging people because i always believe that when you work for a company you've not given your life for the company yeah so just as you are giving yourself your best to the company the company must also be responsible for enhancing your skills whether you work with me or not is not the criteria yeah. but till then you're working the opportunity should should be i have here. to see that your future is also secure yeah. if you're developing yourself i must contribute towards you So we are small, but in our own small way, we just try and take these measures to see how we can keep our staff happy and developed. Yeah. But sir, the company has been growing for a long time. So founders, when they start, they have their idea, their vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. But when the company has been growing for a long time, so the vision is there. I will not be able to follow if I become too big, and will I want to be at that stage? No. The answer is an absolute no. So I'm okay to grow till a level, but I would never allow myself to grow that much that then I start compromising on all the beliefs which I started the company with. Then I'd rather let go. Mm. That I'm very clear about. Yeah. And uh, with this company building exercise that you have become a manager, I know that you have not put a lot of hard work into it. it was your passion to start building it to mehnat hoti bhi to pata nahi chalti hai aur when today you look back and say that what i built right now log jab iske bare mein bolte hain to sir kya feeling aati hai ek to ye feeling hai jo aapne banaya you can Already. actually see it mm-hmm. and then the people like me like everyone who's who no, just like i told you i don't think i've done anything great honestly i don't think i've done anything great i just think i'm a regular guy who's just believed in what he wanted to do and he's having great fun doing what he's doing that's it i uh, after it's, meeting you it is totally different feeling for me yeah. looking at tree of life i was looking at a uh, there was an image that was making what right. himmat anand is yeah but talking to you it is a different figure that is coming in front of me that you know value you understand okay i know my company kahan tak ja sakti hai kitna bada ho sakti hai it was so clear yeah or I think ये ज़्यादा बेटर होगा लोगों को समझना कि tree of life आप क्या है through your voice rather than looking at hotel and understanding and doing experience. True. मुझे अभी तक tree of life बहुत different दिखता था आपसे बात करने के बाद it is completely different. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how to put this on a word but uh, creating something in hospitality is difficult and I know this. Yes. 
बिकॉज जब मैं नौकरी कर रहा था सर तो मुझे सिर्फ हॉस्पिटलिटी बिजनेस पे एक चीज़ दिखता था कि आप बिल्डर हैं यू हैव क्रिएटेड बिल्डिंग एंड मैरिट का बोर्ड लग जाता है उसमें सो आई वर्क थ्रू आउट फाइव स्टार होटल्स बिकॉज आई वॉज रेवन्यू गाय एंड आई डेंट रियलाइज दैट हॉस्पिटलिटी हैज़ सो मच मनी टू ऑफर यू कैन अर्न लॉड ऑफ मनी एंड दैट ओनली हैपन बिकॉज आई वर्क विद मिस्टर स्वरूप ही इज द गाय हु केम फ्राम अ जॉब एंड स्टार्टेड अ स्टार्टअप मेड करोर्स एंड आई सेट ओके दिस इंडस्ट्री हैज सो मच मनी एंड टिल दैन I was 21 probably in 21 say 36 age tak aate aate I said no this industry has money let's make it but do you think that people are encouraged enough to do lot of thing in hospitality because I don't see lot of startup coming into hospitality yes they are now yeah. but the speed is really slow so uh, I think there are two segments to look into one this is a very capital intensive industry hmm. it requires a lot of money, money to start yeah right and that is a put off for many people already mm. they don't want to take the risk entry barrier is high very high a bank se loan mango the moment you say hospitality they already put you on a red list ke nahi mm. this is not a very viable industry now it's become a bit better in the last 3 4 5 years right but pehle ke time you were always considered a risk industry right so i think that is one reason why people have been put off by not wanting to come in here mm. The flip side is, let's say small setups like mine, the boutique space. There is no big money in the boutique space. I mean, up 10 crore ke hotel se, you are from revenue. कितना को मालूम है? क्या को मालूम है 10 crore का? नहीं मिलेगा, कुछ भी नहीं मिलेगा. मैं हम मना कर देते हैं. I was coming to that. Exactly. So, अगर मेरे पास कोई revenue management के लिए आता है, उसके 15 crore में उसको बोलते हैं, sir, आप दो मेरी fees नहीं दे पाओगे. Exactly. और मैं 6 crore भी ले लेता हूँ. क्यों? Because tree of life, when I started it 15 years ago, was not with the intent of becoming a money generator for me. Mm. So I never look at ROI. People keep saying return on investment. When I ask the company, so cha return on investment kya hai? I do ROE, return on experiences, mm. which we give to our guests. So me, the kick is when people say you went to the tree of life, we had such a great time. We're going to come back again, right? And that's one reason why I don't have any SOPs or very few. I'm wrong to say no SOPs. There are some SOPs, but I tell my staff. I will give you basic training, so from here do this, do that. But everybody will handle guests how you want to best handle the guest because you know we are all different people. Yeah, it's a human industry. Exactly. This is not about machines. Yeah. I cannot tell you how to smile. I should not tell you how to say good morning. Of course. आप जो भी विश करो, my funda is once the guest leaves the property, checks out, I want him to already be thinking where should the next tree of life I go to. Now, how do you want to do that? you guys see i'm not here to teach you that mm. and i think if you give your staff this freedom a it makes them feel more confident ki i'm not being taught every little thing yes. square se karo square se karo square se karo i guess larger brands have to do it and that comes back to the same question of mine the moment i have become very big i will have to do brand standardization and standardize standardization will mean then that i will lose a lot of things which i am doing presently so mm. the end result is tree of life should never become that big that it starts doing sops as the prime focus of work no it should be to send out happy people they should come back it's that simple so are are, are you taking losses for smaller hotel i'm i'm doing some for free literally for free why because i believe that you know life cannot be about money all the time life cannot be about profit and loss of this profit and balance sheets no so i will take a hotel because i think उसको होटल भी क्या बुलाओगे छह कमरों को तो आप कुछ भी बुला लो जो बुलाओ आई विल टेक इट बिकॉज आई थिंक इट डिजर्व अ पोजिशन इट डिजर्व टू बी ब्रॉट आउट इन टू द मार्केट इट डिजर्व टू बी सोल्ड इट डिजर्व टू हैव गेस्ट ओवर देयर बिकॉज इट इज सच अ नाइस बिल्डिंग द लोकेशन इज सो ग्रेट सो आई आई हैव थ्री फोर प्रॉपर्टीज इन माई पोर्टफोलियो विच माई फाइनेंस का कीप स्टेलिंग मी एवरी ईयर कि सर क्या लेके बैठे हो आप क्यों कर रहे हो आप एंड आई से नो इट्स ओके because i will not look at everything with profit in mind no mm. it gives me happiness to be operating that hotel i will do it so it's a management hotel and money goes to owner and you take nothing out of it literally nothing literally nothing <laughs> that's yeah, the owner the owner makes more than i make much more than i make running his property maintaining it he makes more than i make yeah. but for me that is not the criteria Yes, now I can understand why you don't want it to go big because it can't, it can't. like this. This model cannot grow big. 
And that is supposed to grow. I think that is the reason a lot of people appreciate Tree of Life. Then yeah. I have to change the whole thinking behind it. Yeah, the entire brand. So it is change. possible to make it big. I'm not saying it can't. It can. But can it be made big with Himmat Anand's thought process? The no. answer is no. No. You know, so that's where the catch is. So this can become 30, 35 hotels tomorrow morning yes. without a problem. Yes, because that's. But it can't be with my vision, with my thought process, and I will not be there. When it becomes 35 hotels, I will not be there for sure. So I, I was looking at. So it, for my mindset, I was looking at Tree of Life. I said that like I was in Indore. Yeah. And when I said to my family, let's go to dinner for uh, Marriott. It is five red light, and you end up having frustration. Reach there, eat food, and come back. This is three, four kilometers. So I said that every city will grow, and this is going to happen. Tier two, tier three cities will grow. Like Indore is growing, uh, Nagpur is growing, a lot of tier two cities are growing, and then you will have a tree of life outside the city where you can go, experience, come back. And that is my version how tree of life yeah, can grow. That's big. how we would like to be. Yeah. And there is a lot of space outside the city which is already peaceful, serene, where you can find. Today, everybody has cars. The roads are improving. So you know, driving twenty, twenty-five minutes, twenty minutes is no big deal. No big deal. Now, तो आपको शहर में लग जाता है जाते जाते. Hundred percent. आप दिल्ली के अंदर चालीस मिनट लगा दे तो बीस किलोमीटर के लिए. So, हमारे पास आने के लिए आपको क्या दस पंद्रह मिनट और ड्राइव करना पड़ेगा. But you will get a peaceful drive at least, and you can listen to music, have a conversation with the wife, kids, and go back. So, what kind of customers? Are right now coming in because I can see from where I know anyone at twenty to thirty, everyone is appreciating. What do you think the tree of life is for people? There? That's quite a mix because see, I think that in our properties we have three different categories, right? Within tree of life, so this tree of life expressions, which is the more top top brand for us. Then you have tree of life hideaways, which is the mid segment, and then you have tree of life collections, which is the very small hotel six rooms. They come mm-hmm. under collections. and all three have sort of a different clientele but because we have these three categories so to say within tree of life i'm getting quite a mix so i'm getting the 25 year olds i'm getting the 65 70 year olds mm. uh so there is no profiling i can do of the client today for us it's, yeah it's quite a mix bag quite a mix bag and so what is your thought about people who want to come into hospitality as a business sir So suppose I have started and I am thankful that you are sitting in front of. There is a lot of questions that have already got an answer. Yeah, because I got your questionnaire, which is quite interesting. The questions so, that you sent to me. So I, I, I forgot those those questions uh, that I wanted to ask because this is very personal to me because I am I am finding my answers right. right now. So this is me, Prashant Mishra, knowing about my own self that what I have to do right. Yeah. Just because you have had an answer. So, किसी ने मेरे को बोला था तो like. Uh, when i was young and i used to go to my mom and say yeah meko ye karna hai and she never had an answer she said, you need to find someone who had an answer you don't have to figure it out by your own self aap itni mehnat karte rahoge nahi milega kisi na kisi ko pata hoga so like i asked you go trust kaise dalte and you said patient it's okay so now i'm very sorted okay fine i'll trust everyone i'll get knocked down i'll co- come back and we'll keep walking so anyone who want to start a business in hospitality small big chahe yeah. wo retail mein jaye management mein jaye ya fir खुद का कोई होटल खोले वट इज वन थिंग दैट पीपल शुड कीप इन देर माइंड बिफोर जम्पिंग इन टू हॉस्पिटैलिटी एज अ बिजनेस आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज वन थिंग यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड सो इट डिपेंड्स नाउ आर यू गोइंग टू ओन द प्रॉपर्टी आर यू गोइंग टू मैनेज इट राइट सो सो एनीथिंग बट कम्स फ्रॉम देयर व्हाट व्हाट इज द हॉस्पिटैलिटी ट्रेड दैट यू शुड कैरी सो फॉर मी इफ यू आर गेटिंग इनटू हॉस्पिटैलिटी the location is the most critical okay i think going forward locations are going to determine the success of properties it doesn't matter whether you're near the city far from the city hmm. the location has to be and locations can be different right uh so anybody getting into hospitality in my opinion should not open something in the city hmm. there's enough of that happening you will again struggle for every 100 rupees competition so how can you differentiate your product from something which is already there it's easier said than done but i think that that differentiation and location plays for me a huge role in in uh, deciding whether i should take the property or not so if it's one thing i would say is location which you should look at yeah so if i look at a city hotel sir i want to ask this so if someone is building a hotel within the city so what is the different thing that you can do to that hotel so that it can stand out as a product and location of course because oh, so i can't answer i don't know city hotels 
ना मैं पढ़ना चाहता हूँ उसके अंदर सो सो आई कान आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन सो मेरे को ऐसा लगता है सर कि जितने भी होटल सभी सबसे ज्यादा बन रहे हैं सो देर इज सारे सिटी में बन रहे हैं बिग ब्रांड से बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज बिग ब्रांड्स हैव टू बी देयर एवरी रूम कॉस्ट देम 2 करोड्स ऑफ रुपीस फॉर वन की 2 करोड्स अ रूम एंड इफ ही इज नॉट इन द सिटी ही विल नॉट गेट बैंकुट बिजनेस ही विल नॉट गेट शादी बिजनेस ही विल नॉट गेट वॉकइंस आई आई डोंट डिपेंड ऑन देम because my inventory is so small so i don't know how city rules function and i have never really studied them that's not my area at all i have no idea really but this is going to increase that for sure city hotels will keep on will coming will increase but having said that correspondingly the space we are in the boutique space so to say the small space is going to increase at a more faster rate and it's going to give these big brands a run for the money which never happened before i think covid has changed the whole scene very very dramatically in our favor Mm. So you'll find in the last two three years a lot of brands and these big brands have now started creating small brands within themselves. हो गया ना सब मैरिट ने निकाल दिया MDX सब करते हैं ITC ने story निकाला हाँ ताज ने Amma stays कर दिया अबांग निकाल दिया so सारे बड़े brands they realize कि इसमें potential है हाँ बड़ा पैसा नहीं है but there is potential for it and name and fame बहुत ज़्यादा मिलता है इससे because people so, appreciate lot, lot of people yeah, yeah yeah that's what people want today so yeah. okay understood so I think uh, more or less I got this idea of building a brand and बस एक सवाल और है सर आज की डेट में ब्रांडिंग एंड मार्केटिंग पर पैसे खर्चे करना जरूरी है या फिर ब्रांड का एथिक्स वैल्यूज बना देना जरूरी जो आपने किया दे वो हैव टू गो हैंड इन हैंड आई थिंक यू कैन नॉट टेक वन अवे फ्रॉम दी अदर सो दी एथिक्स द बेसिस ऑफ द ब्रांड हैज टू बी देयर वेरी स्ट्रॉग अदरवाइज यू कैन नॉट बिल्ड अ ब्रांड I mean, look what Tata's have built over the years. Yeah. Whenever you talk of Tata, you know this: there is trust, there is quality in this, and it hasn't happened overnight. Okay. And they are in every vertical you can think of. Yes, from number right? to truck, everywhere they are there. Why? It's built on a certain trust there. So that trust, and like I said, that 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 confidence, that trust value is is very important. What has changed dramatically in terms of marketing today is social media, hmm. which was not so four or five years ago. today and going forward the next big giant is ai which everybody is talking about for me it is dreadful mm. and i'm glad i will not be around in business when ai really comes in because that is again going to change the way completely how you are dealing with people and with things and all of that it's going to get so mechanized mm. that i wonder what is the new shape of hospitality really right and guys like me who grown up with a different mindset would find it very difficult to adjust to that the new generation will find it very easy, easy because they need that app in their hand they cannot survive without the app humne chitthi wale dekhe hain sir cdm right, mein gsm exactly, dekhe right? and that's the market going forward so i think social media is dramatic and every business must take full use of of social media i think it's an amazing medium i i enjoy facebook uh, i'm pretty active on it as myself and as tree of life uh, i write very often on linkedin and so is the tree of life page pretty active so yeah i think these two have to go hand in hand you cannot sort of take away one from the other so i'll end this entire podcast and it was lovely having all the answers coming from you and straight from the heart and it was uh, for me it was an experience right now matlab abhi tak mere podcast jitne bhi maine kiye this is something which is very personal to and will remain personal to me uh, do you think india right now is in a situation where hospitality will grow more leaps and bounds leaps and bounds the question is are we ready for it right uh i do believe that the government is hardly serious about tourism yeah i think they have too many other priorities on their wish list which they have to tackle tourism will continue to be given the step motherly treatment it has always been given so there's a lot of talk about it but there's yeah. no action about it it is honestly pathetic that a country as large as india feels very excited that we are getting 12 million overseas visitors yeah it is a shame and i think people should make a big noise and say boss what are you so happy about mm. I mean, there are countries like Thailand and all talking of fifty, fifty-five, sixty million. Paris as a city gets some sixty-five, seventy million. Yes. So, are we really serious? Is the question. I also believe that 
the service standards which we had earlier are not the same anymore. Yes, it is completely changing. Right? And industry has to wake up to the fact to pay more, like we discussed earlier, to look after its people more. And only then will we be able to benefit. So domestic tourism is going to boom like boom. Mm. There's no, no stopping way. that now. No stopping that. Yeah. The way the highways are being built, the new cars which are coming in, airport connectivity which is happening. And disposable income. The disposable income, the trains which are coming in. So that is on a high means an absolute high. Okay. People keep saying when outbound will start, domestic tourism will suffer. No. 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 Domestic to tourism today, they are talking of about 800 million travelers every year. Yes. 800 million, and it's going to increase. Right? Outbound is 20 million. Inbound is 12 million. 12 million. Comparison kya hai aapka iske andar? There's no comparison at all. Nothing. You know? So, yeah. So, no, I think it's, it's a great time. People should get into hospitality. I think youngsters should, should, should take up this, this segment of work. Uh, the work-life balance is going to get better. It'll have to get better. It is getting better. There is better. now no choice anymore with the industry. Uh, it is getting better. It so, better. I think the power has gone back to the student and the yeah. teachers and the institutions. Uh, the only thing that I look at, Government of India should start changing the syllabus the way to be, they are teaching IHM yeah, students. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. if they correct there, everything is going to change. Sure. And these students are, I was there in IHM and I was seeing these small kids asking me questions which was really intriguing for me to answer yeah. because they wanted to know, did you raise the funding? Mm. How did you understood that revenue management can become company? Yeah. You can make yeah. crores yeah. out of it. Yeah. And they, they want to know the real right. opportunity. And these yeah. students are the future of hospitality. If you change the syllabus and the curriculum that is still there for the last 30 years. Yeah, I but they never involve industry to make the curriculum. That's they the should, they, they should, should involve be. industry and take it forward. And th that's, that's what happening in other, other government. The Saudi Arabia government has reached out to us yeah. that they want EHL, IHM, IHM and everyone to come together and craft a course for them, for mm. their students. Because mm. they are opening up like 3 lakh hotel in the next 3 years. Yeah. Saudi Arabia is on boom right now. So I think, yeah, you have you mentioned it right, that this country is ready for the growth of hospitality. But are we? That's a question. So, thank you so much, sir. Thank and you very much. It was a lovely talking to you. Thank you. I would like to catch you again. Zero. Someday in some tree of life, I want to sit down with you to experience this. And this will be a different kind of a talk. Look forward to that. Thank Look you, sir. You are watching Biggest Hospitality Podcast by a Hotelier. Stay tuned. Follow us for more.